Number 20 is about self-expression. Man, it's uh, can't express this enough. So, <laughs> if there is any trauma in your life, and I'm sure there is. I mean, there's a lot of childhood trauma that I have trapped in, in my body um, that I've had trapped for a while. If there is resentment, there's sorrow, there's sadness, there's anger, there's uh, disgust, rage, you got to have a way to express yourself. Now, Working out at the gym, that's a great way. No doubt about it. That's great. But I would recommend that you also make videos just like this and express yourself fully. It's also going to increase your confidence. Now, look, you can just watch these videos yourself and keep them in your repository and some database in your Google Drive. You don't have to publish it on YouTube. You can put it on YouTube and make it unlisted or private so no one else can see it but you. But having some way to express yourself every single day, you could also make a journal and write. Write down your desires. What do you want in life? Why do you want it? What, what is your dark, dark side? You know, what is stuff that you've never told anyone? Like write it down and believe fully that it is okay to have those feelings. It is okay to have those emotions, man. I'm telling you so many times, I was ashamed. I, I, I felt guilty for having certain desires, for, for thinking that, you know, I, I desire girls sexually or I'm, you know, being able to uh, uh, think that someone is beautiful, being able to appreciate uh, the opposite sex, being able to appreciate um, in things that are taboo in religion, perhaps. Or being able to appreciate uh, different types of, of self-expression, like you know, saying the word fuck, or like whatever that is for you. Whatever has been trapped in you that you haven't fully expressed, figure out a way to do it. And it doesn't have to be journaling and, and making videos, but you can also do it through music. You can do it through dance. You can do it through... Um, uh, you can have conversations. One thing I've learned from starting this podcast uh, a few months ago that whenever a guest comes in and we have a discussion, you know, it's usually three to five, six hours uh, in the podcast, the transformation and healing that I have and the guest has and the way we heal together, man, it's like a therapy session, I swear to God. It's like when we're talking, we get lost in this conversational space, this, this universal bliss energy. And that allows the rewiring of the brain better than anything I have ever done. Okay? So really, really figure out a way to express yourself. And, uh, and again, if you don't have a community that, that you want to express yourself to, and you want to get feedback, then join Afro-D Nation, like I said earlier.